Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to the design of flat slabs now. Okay, so already we designed one-way slab, right? So these are the slab systems. Okay, so one-way slab we analyze when Ly by Lx ratio is greater than two, right? So we say it is one-way slab in which we provide the cables in yes, we provide the cables along shorter dimension, right? And then we design two-way slabs also where reinforcement where c uh, cables are provided along both the direction longer as well as shorter dimension as well as its ly by lx ratio when it is less than two we say it is two way slab right so we analyze and design these slabs okay so for one way slabs it's like a beam only of one meter width uh, we assume and we design two way slab using the coefficients which are mentioned in Yes, bending moment coefficients, which are mentioned in table number 26 of IS 456, okay, 2000. We find out the, yes, we find out the bending moment and then we design it, okay, using the concepts of pre-stressing. That is, we refer IS 1343 2012 for the design. So, for analysis, remember, this is important, okay, for analysis, we, uh, for 2 ways lab I am talking. So, for analysis, we use IS456 bending moment coefficients. We calculate from that table number 26, right? And then we uh, design by using IS1343. Okay, so we find out pre stressing mi minimum P, minimum E, and then we decide the spacing, right? So this is a design of two way slab. Now we are going, and we know th these are two way slabs are age supported. Fine. So if age supported means generally, they are rest on the beams okay on the edge <coughs> right so edges are supported by the beams then we design okay uh, using the is456 for the analysis uh, and it is used and is1343 2012 used for the design now we are going to design the flat slabs okay so here it is different okay so what is mean by flat slab first of all we need to see right okay then advantages and disadvantages of flat slab see flat slab you can design in by using reinforcement concrete also yes rcc okay and as well as we can design in pre stress structure as a pre stress structure a pre stress slab okay so there are two ways our syllabus is totally related and restricted with the design of pre-stress two-way flat slab okay so we are going to design pre-stress two-way flat slab so for analysis again see just like rcc flat slab we are going to use ddm method that is direct design method it is given in is 456 2000 just like two-way slab age supported okay <coughs> where we refer 26 table here we are referring ddm method direct design method Okay, it is given in IS 456-2000 which is used for the analysis means to find out the movements. Okay, and then we are going to design this flat slab by using IS 1343-2012. So we are going to see what is flat slab, what is the exact classification, uh, yes we can say uh, exact advantages and disadvantages of flat slab then ddm method what exactly it is what are the codal provisions are given for ddm method there is another method also fp fem method that is uh, equivalent frame method efm actually so all these methods are mentioned here and that we are going to see so theory part i am going to cover in this lecture okay with the procedure how to design the flat slab okay and then we are going to focus on the example on in next lecture okay so be patient without going through this lecture it is very difficult to understand the example so go through it first and then go through the next video fine okay so we are going to design flat slabs in this okay flat plates are not in our syllabus okay so it is also one of the type of slab system fine so design of post tensioned flat slabs just like age supported here uh, as we know we design one way flat slab two way flat slab these are post tensioned here also yes this flat slab also it is post tensioned so we are going to design pt flat slab means post tensioned flat slabs 
fine so let us go with the first advantages of flat slab okay so what are the advantages of pt flat slabs okay so it is it these are the advantages of pt flat slabs huh? okay so pt flat slabs so it reduces or eliminates shrinkage cracking therefore no joints or fewer joints are needed okay so very important it eliminates the shrinkage cracking in this case okay so that's why we prefer this so there is no any joint or fewer joints are needed fine and cracks that do form are held tightly together okay so if cracks are developed they are <coughs> uh, tight together so th yes that uh, deflection uh, sorry that crack is within the limit whatever we consider depends on the type of structure we design okay so you know type 1 type 2 type 3 stru structure so based on that okay so you can easily understand this okay so reduce deflections and vibrations okay so here yes we are using small section so definitely small s depth of the slab so compare with the rcc flat slab okay so depth of the pt flat slab is less than depth of the flat slab rcc flat slab so this is the difference so here automatically deflections are reduced because we are using high grade materials and of course vibrations are also reduced in this case okay longer span and fewer columns are greater flexibility in the floor layouts